Hello everybody, it's Claire here with my uh, Valentine project. It's a Valentine chocolate box that I've uh, decorated for um, Andy, my partner. Um, so let me take you through what I did. It's just a paper mache um, blank heart shaped box and I wanted to keep it slightly masculine but um, put some flowers on the top. It's going to contain some chocolates and bits and pieces for Valentine's Day. He likes black magic chocolates and they come in a black and red box. So um, I thought I'd make a chocolate box to put them inside with some other bits and pieces as well. Andy has spent all year buying me flowers. He always buys me flowers, the most beautiful flowers. So I wanted to give him some flowers back and um, do something crafty at the same time and I never tell him I love him so this was my way of um, saying something on Valentine's Day. Anyway, that's my romantic um, side coming out. <laughs> so let me tell you what I did. Uh, first of all I painted it white and let that dry and then I painted it with black acrylic paint and then covered it with the Claudine Helmuth matte medium just to give it a, a, a just a matte shine um, and make it look quite finished and then I sorted through all of the papers that I got left from collections and, and projects that I'd used and made throughout the year pulled out all the reds blacks and creams and put them all together and this is what I came up with so the top and the sides are covered in papers from the Curtain Call collection. Let me just show you the side. I don't know if you can see there. Uh, black dots on the side and then the stripes on the top in the creamy fawns. And then um, I bought a wooden sentiment and stained it with vintage photo, covered it in um, the Distress Crackle Paint. I don't know if you can see that. Um, the clear rock candy distress crackle paint and then went over it again once that was dry with um, some more vintage photo just to give it an aged look. Uh, this picture is from the On the Boardwalk collection, one of the 12 by 12 cutouts and the frame I cut out of red card using the um, one of the new Sizzix dies, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's the oval frame and it comes with two small ovals as well, so I really like that. So I cut that out of red card and then I used the candy cane stickles over the top um, just to give it a bit of sparkle and inked the edges with vintage photo. And then I've raised it up on pop dots, put the photograph behind it. Um, another of my new dies that I've bought that I really, really love is um, one of the memory box um, dies, the heart, steel heart die. And that one, has it got a reference number on? It's called Cupid Heart. I think. It's number 98278. Oh no, it's called the Serafina Heart. And I cut lots of those out in the black, just black cardstock, and I've used them as detail really, and put them all around the edges and through the flowers. Other dyes I used were um, the tattered florals, alterations, Tim Holtz tattered florals uh, for these ones, and then uh, and the daisies. And the roses are cut out of the Spellbinders Blossom 1 die. And they're just um, cut out of red cardstock. And then I've inked the edges just to give them a bit of dimension. And then just put some glitter in the, the centre. I don't know if you can see that. And I've used the tattered leaves as well. The Alterations Tattered Leaves die. So there's two um, croissant leaves and three rose leaves. And then just a little tiny punch to cut some tiny flowers out. And, uh, and then arranged the flowers 
I actually put a piece of card, a strip of card in an arch under this larger rose just to raise it up so that everything wasn't flat on the box. Started putting by putting that flower on the top and then built the arrangement up around the edge. I've used some buttons um, and then made these roses out of some odd scraps from the curtain call collection, the papers from the curtain call collection. That one's cut from um, papers from the communique collection and this one, I'm not sure what that one's from actually, that one is from, I think it's a proper gentleman collection, those two might be actually. Here's a close up shot of the flowers on the top, I haven't um, zoomed the camera in but I'm just going to zoom or move the box just slowly so that you can see the flower detail. I added some tags um, that hang down the side, so let me just talk you through what they were from. Um, a communique tag there, and the one that says vintage. I wanted it to be a real vintage looking chocolate box, um, and found that I hadn't used it, so inked it up, put it on some um, vintage red seam binding, and just added those underneath. And then there's also... Find them. A pair of scissors, um, and you'll see why when I open the box up, and a key as well, just on some ball chain, um, and they just hang down the side. And then I added the two cupids, they were cut from the Movers and Shapers Cupid die out of cream cardstock, and then I covered them in the Distress Crackles, the Rock Candy Distress Crackles ink the edges and then ink them over once they dried just to give them a uh, old look. So that was the top um, and I, I love the way that came out. So the sides, let me show you what I did around the side. Covered the side with um, the dotty spotty paper on the bottom of the box and the top as well and then I used my Martha Stewart um, punch, let me show you that one, the large one with the open out sides. I love this punch, I use it lots um, and I thought it really did have a vintage feel to it. So I cut um, some very long strips of uh, black punched card stock and stuck them all the way around the box on the bottom and also on the lid as well. So you can see when I lift the lid up. Oop. Look for the detail around the, the sides there. And then let's just move it over. On the inside of the lid, I've put a pocket. Um, I covered it in, I think that is paper from the Communique collection. And I've put a pocket, again cut out of black cardstock, across the bottom. Edged it with the Martha Stewart um, large scallop punch. I cut a strip of card, or the red paper, to go just around the inside, I don't know if you can see that, of the lid. Just to match what I covered the back with. Um, I used the heart that came with the cupid as well, cut a heart out and then cut out some envelopes using my Paper Mania template and I've put a couple of stamps on, one from the Communique collection and one from the Curtain Call collection and then just used one of my stamps to put the postmark on. 
They were cut out of cream cardstock and they've been inked to make them look oldy worldy. And then there's a little note that goes in there as well. And then I've cut the gentleman out of, I think that's out of the Le, Le Romantic collection. I can't really remember. Um, but just the gentleman. Put him on there and then these letters just fit inside that pocket like that. And the reason I did that was I, I've, I'm going to put some notes in there for Andy, but Andy leaves me notes all the time and makes me little crafty bits and pieces and I made him somewhere to, to keep them all a, a, a sentimental present really. So that was the lid. So that all sits together like that. And then the inside of the box I kept quite simple because it's going to have um, chocolates in it and I've got all the papers, the chocolate papers ready um, and the boxes of chocolates to open up and put inside. So what I did was cover it with the curtain call paper, the stripy one, and then the heart shape at the bottom I've inked with one of the Tim Holtz masks. Really like inking, so it's inked with vintage photo and then over inked around the mask. And then I put the uh, Martha Stewart scallop strips all around the inside as well, just to finish it off. But kept it quite simple. So there it is everybody, my vintage Valentine chocolate box. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope you have a fantastic Valentine Day yourselves and I'll be back soon with another project. Bye for now.